From deep in the heart of the San Fernando Valley, it's Hanging with Dr. Z. Tonight, funny man Patton Oswalt with Rusty Steel and the Steel Wheels. This monkey means business. The doctor will see you now. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Stop it. Stop it. We have an amazing show tonight. Thanks for tuning in. But first, let me, let me introduce Rusty Steel and the Steel Wheels over there. You know, everybody's very excited because we have a new president now. If the White House isn't haunted, no building can be haunted. You know, when, when you think about all the things that have happened in the White House, if that place doesn't have ghosts, then no place does. The interesting thing about the White House is if you, if you knew the president, you, you know who the ghost would be, you know. Late at night from downstairs, you'd hear, boo, <laughs> boo, I am the president, now I'm a ghost, boo. That would be Kennedy as a ghost. Now the Republicans are very upset that the president is a Democrat. The Republicans have an interesting theory. They don't think that government works, so they get into government to prove that it doesn't work. <laughs> Same thing with strippers and relationships. But anyway, we're gonna keep all of our clothes on and we're gonna have a great show. Patton Oswalt is with us tonight and uh, the surviving cast members of Three's Company are all gonna be on our stage to fight each other with hammers. That'll be fun. So please stay tuned. You're hanging with Dr. Z, so don't let go. Guests of Hanging with Dr. Z will enjoy dinner for two, and that's not three, at Mickey Rooney's Potato Fantasy Family Restaurant in Sherman Oaks, God's country. Host Mickey Rooney himself offers the country's only all-potato menu in a potato-themed setting the whole family will love. Remember, says Mickey, no tipping ever. Mickey Rooney's Potato Fantasy. You haven't died and gone to heaven. You're just in Sherman Oaks. Thank you, Rusty. Rusty Steel in the Steel Wheels. Thank you. What do you call that number? I call that one eggs. Eggs. Because it was a little runny, but I like it first thing in the morning. Hey, I almost got that. <laughs> do you have a riddle for us tonight? Do I? Time for Rusty's Riddles! Go ahead. This is a real thinker. Okay. I'm ready. What did the geriatric nurse say to the turtle on Christmas? What did the geriatric nurse say to the turtle on Christmas? Um, go, what? I know, it's a good one, right? What do they say? Exactly. I'm proud of that one. But uh, what's the ending? The Great question, when you find out. Definitely tell me. At home, too. When you figure that one out, let me know, because I'd love to know. No, Ross. Yeah. You know I love you. I love you. I've known you for years. You saved me. I got you out of that uh, hotel band on Catalina, brought you all the way over to the mainland. I will always be forever grateful, sir. A riddle yes. is uh, a question with a funny answer. I don't think so, but that's fine. No, that's not a, it's not a dispute. People know what a riddle is. It's, what's this? I don't know. It's that. Ha! We shall agree to disagree. Rusty's Riddles, ladies and gentlemen. Don't that forget. was Rusty's Riddles! Well, let's get the show underway. Our guest tonight, uh, an alternative comedy giant, he starred in such films as Big Fan, Pixar's Ratatouille, and uh, this year he's got a new series premiering on Hulu, which is a streaming service called MODOK. Please welcome Pat Oswalt, ladies and gentlemen. Great to see you again, Dr. Z. Thanks so much for having me on. Thank you for coming down. To, thank you for coming and being on. Uh, things are popping for you. You're on, 
You're on fire. It's, uh, you know, uh, it, it suddenly got really uh, busy for me. And I hope I'm not uh, putting you in on the spot, but uh, when well, I was- This happens all the time. Well, when I was seven years old, my family was living in uh, Tustin Meadows. and We went to Disneyland. It was a meet Gary Grimes, the star of Gus the Field Goal Kicking Mule. Of course. And you were there. And, um, and I'm not, you know, look, it was a very hot day. Um, and when Loretta Swit brought you on stage, That's she right. said, uh, you know him as Cornelius in the Apes films. And you walked, you, you stood up. And you walk towards her and then just kept walking right off stage. Just kept walking. Yeah. I tell you, it, it's one of those things with Loretta that it, it, a relationship that starts off that bad can only go one way. Mm -hmm. And now I, now I go to her house to visit half of my belongings. Oh, oh no. I, I think the last time I saw you, I was at a Passover Seder at Robert Conrad's house and you were there. Good memory. Steven Spielberg was also there. Yes. Who knew? I yeah. didn't know he was Jewish. This town, it, right? It's, it's, you never know. You never know. People hide it really, really well. Not that there's anything wrong with it. Oh my gosh. I remember being at that Seder and it was really, really fun. I got to meet Steven Spielberg, told him how much I liked him. But at one moment, I remember this very distinctly, um, Harvey Keitel came in. That's right. And you stiffened up. You walked straight into the backyard, climbed over the fence. Very, I mean, obviously very agile. Sure. But it was it was so clear that it was Keitel walked in. Oh, Doctor Z's gone. I was supposed to replace him in Apocalypse. Oh. Marty Sheen got it instead. Then I ended up doing Apocalypse now on ice, coast to coast. It's like you took two jobs from him. I like the house it bought me. Yeah. Uh, now you worked for years with uh, uh, Leah Remini. Yes, Leah, Leah Remini, yes. Will, will we ever find out where David Miscavige's wife is? Well, I feel like maybe she never existed. Um, and then they had to kind of grandfather in that he had a wife. And then they realized that, oh, wait a second, like the actress they hired to do it probably got a job somewhere else or maybe found a different religion. It would be so easy to just bring her out. I, what have I been saying for years? Can't she just walk out and do a quick little wave or something? It's it's not the hardest thing to do. Exactly. Yeah. It's a miscavage of justice. I'm serious. <laughs> 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 Oh. <laughs> I'm kidding you, of course. I mean, they brought Jim Backus out for that last uh, Gilligan's Island TV movie, and I think most of his organs were gone. He was basically a brain in a fish tank, but God love him, they brought him out. <laughs> Before we go, we gotta uh, we gotta let you go. What's coming oh. up? Tell us about Modoc and where we can see it and when. Uh, Modoc's gonna be on uh, Hulu. It's a, a very obscure Marvel villain, a giant swollen-headed guy in a little hovering uh, right. chair sled, and it's stop motion and it's a ton of fun. I th I think you would especially love it. It kind of harkens back to the 70s. Sort of the, the Johnny Cuesto. They're running out of superheroes. I know that they have a, a realistic version of Spider-Woman where she gets bit by a spider, moves in under your porch, and devours you after sex. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I did, did not know about that, but I should probably send my reel in. <laughs> exactly. Pat Oswalt, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much, buddy. Oh, thank you. See Liz, you Lizzie or die. Thanks. Lizzie Liz, or die. Put that, get that to the merch store. Tomorrow night, Supreme Court Justice Sonia Sotomayor and Guar. Rusty, play us out of here.